If you're having problems with your Waves plugins, then you need to watch this video. But before we tell our wife to have some sympathy because we just lost the love of our life, I have a question for you. What's the number one Waves plugin every producer should have? Comment your answer down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later on in this video. Stay tuned. And let's get into it. Here is FL Studio and this is the era we're going to be covering in this video, the Wave Shell VST era. So let me add the plugin in question to my mixer now the plugin is cla guitars stereo or whichever one actually cla guitars i got a trial of this i believe it was two or three weeks ago at this point and this is what happens when i try to open it i get this error there was a problem opening the plugin for an unknown reason make sure it was installed correctly and then it says this plugin failed to load okay now the issue is your trial has run out yeah <laughs> that this is what happens when your trial has run out and it's annoying that it comes up like this and gives you an error instead of just telling you your trial has run out because it's a little bit confusing as i was confused I didn't realize my trial has run out because I thought I'd had a 14 day trial, but it's actually only seven days. So at this point, you need to buy a license or delete the plugin. However, if you've bought the plugin, there are a few steps you may want to go through. Let's discuss them now. The first thing you want to do is open up Waves Central. When you're in Waves Central, go to settings. At this point, you can try repairing the plugins in question. To do that, just click this button over here that says repair. When you do that, Wave Central will try to repair your Waves plugins. By the way, there is a Waves sale going on by the time you watch this video because this should be released in November. The early bird sale won't still be going on because that ends on the 9th, but links down below if you want to grab Waves plugins or go to jcarterray.com forward slash waves. It helps out the channel. Thank you very much. And they've got a lot of great stuff over there, to be fair. I need to do a lot more reviews on Waves plugins because they do have a lot of... I need to review R-Base and CLA compressors and R-Vox and oh, so many videos I need to do. I need to add that to my list or I totally forgot that those things. Also, something that you need to know, something that you're going to be very, very excited about is you can use my easy nine-step trap beat making formula to make your own beats from home for absolutely free. All you need to do is go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course or click on the link in the description down below. This course will walk you from creating your melody all the way through to mastering your beat and it's completely free. So there's nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course because it won't be available forever and it won't be free forever. So join it while you still can. Back to the video. If repairing the plugin doesn't work, you can try reinstalling that plugin. I suggest you go watch my video on how to uninstall Waves plugins for a more in-depth view into how to do that. But for now, go to settings as we showed, click on whichever type of plugin you've got it might be version 10 to 13 uninstall that make sure you do a clean install and delete the dll file remember that is shown in that how to uninstall waves plugins video go check that out and then reinstall the plugins using install products over here now if you don't know how to install products from waves watch my video on how to install Waves plugins. The last step is to try rescanning for the plugins in the DAW you're using. For example, in FL Studio, in order to rescan for our plugins, we'd go to options, then we'd go to manage plugins. Then once this pops up, we'll select rescan plugins with errors, rescan previously verified plugins, and then click on find more plugins, wait for that to finish. And that can help solve this issue. Now, earlier on in the video, I did ask you a question and I promised to answer it later on in the video. And as you know, I am a man of my word. That question was, what's the number one Waves plugin every producer should have? And the answer is R Base. yeah? This is why I need to do an R Base review because it's so amazing. And I think everyone should get it. Like it just helps out. A lot if you produce beats using 808s or bass of any kind you need our bass yeah get it asap our bass will make your bass cut through the mix if it's not hitting right it will also add extra harmonics to your bass to make it easier to hear on mobiles and laptops and in general if you use a higher frequency in the actual settings for example let me bring up our bass this is what it looks like and it defaults on 80 Hertz. The higher you put it, the more high-end harmonics you're gonna get. And high-end harmonics are the sounds that come through laptops, mobiles, and that sort of stuff. And this is very, very important if you are making a song in a lower key and your bass is hitting on those lower octave notes, 
that you can't really hear. They're not very audible. Add in some R bass and add in more harmonics in those higher frequencies will make those bass hits a whole lot more audible. So get R bass, man. Get ASAP. Like, I can't speak its praises enough. I'll leave a link down below so you can grab that. It's probably on sale now as well. Get our base. Get it now. Now let's quickly recap the steps. This error mainly occurs if you're using trial version and your trial has run out. So that's probably the issue here. Buy the plugin, get a license. That's the first thing you should do. Second solution, you could try repairing the plugins using Wave Central. Third solution, you could try reinstalling the plugins. Fourth solution, you could try rescanning for those plugins in your DAW. Now, if you have any questions or any other videos you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out the links in the description as you'll find a lot of great stuff including my beat mixing templates that will have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage and i'm sure you'll love that check out that video next and i'll see you in the next video peace out